Simplifying a log with a statement with two logs and subtraction. Okay, so for this example, what I want to do is look at these two things individually and then see if there's a way we can throw them together. Okay. So log base 3 of 27. So saying 3 to what power is equal to 27, we know that to be 3. Log base 3 of 9, saying 3 to what power is equal to 9, 3 squared, so this is going to be 2. We're subtracting in between, so this is just going to be 1. Okay. We can combine these actually, and how we do that is by division. So this turns out to be log base 3, 27 over 9. 27 over 9 is 3. Log base 3 of 3, 3 to what power is 3? This is 1. So what this gets us is the quotient rule of logarithms. And what that tells us is if we are ever dividing within our log, so we have log b of x over y, this is going to be equal to log base b of x minus log base b of y. Okay? This is the quotient rule of logarithms. Basically, whatever's in the top is going to go first, and then we subtract whatever's in the bottom. Okay. Careful to note that this is not the same thing for log base b of x minus y. Okay. This only works when we are dividing in, inside of our log. It doesn't work for when we are subtracting. Okay. And we also can go both ways. We can, we'll be able to go from a division into a, in the log to a subtraction, or from subtraction back to division. Okay, so that's the quotient rule of logarithms.